Hey guys, after a whole year, I am finally making over my apartment again. In case you're not familiar with the layout of my apartment, I live in a 430 square feet studio apartment. And for this makeover, I'm going to be focusing on my main living space. So on one side of the room, I have a day bed, and this is the place that I sleep in, as well as general reading and lounging. And right across from the day bed, I have this DIY IKEA credenza that I made in a previous makeover video. And I had the day bed for almost four years, and it served me really well. But at this point, I just really want to experience what it's like to sleep in a proper bed. And also, when I go home to visit my parents, I want to be able to sleep in my own bed. And currently, my old bedroom has kind of turned into this weird place where my dad reads in, my mom does meditation in it, and my cat naps in it. So at this point, I just want to put the day bed back to my parents' place and make it into like a proper guest bedroom that I will be able to sleep in when I go home. Anyways, moving on, so this is basically the before of my studio apartment uh, and for this makeover, I'm going to set a $500 budget for myself which is quite challenging considering I'm getting rid of the day bed and I'll have to somehow come up with a new bed for myself and still stay within the $500 budget First, I went to Canadian Tire to pick up some supplies like a fresh can of paint and some polyurethane why do I need polyurethane? Because I then bought this telephone table from a guy on Buns for $40. My plan is to use this telephone table as a bedside table while providing some extra seating in my room. And since right now in Toronto, we only get 40 minutes of sunlight every day, that was the end of day one. On the second day, I hired someone from TaskRabbit to help me move the daybed out of my apartment and back into my parents' house. His name was George, and I highly recommend him if you're in Toronto and need some help moving. Hey guys, I'm finally back from my parents' place. The bed has been moved out. Then I went back to my apartment and started working on my accent wall. I have been admiring this half painted wall for a while because not only it gives the illusion of having a headboard, I also want to start incorporating my favorite color into my room more often. So this was a great way to accomplish both of those things. I then also had to deal with the consequences of my past actions, which is using an alternative brand to the 3M command strip. They were not only hard to get off the wall, but they also took a layer of the wall with them. So lesson learned here, only use the 3M command strips for adhesing anything to the wall. They may be a few dollars more expensive, but in the long run, you're saving yourself a lot of time and grief. And after I finished repairing the walls, I went on to mark the height of where I want the paint to stop. And by referencing the furnitures that I already have on hand, I decided on 48 inches off the floor. And then it's time to start painting. The color that I chose is called Sea Kale, and oh my god, it's so perfect, I love it so much. It's the exact color that I wanted. And after that, I also cleaned and sanded the telephone table so that I could refinish it the next day. And then after that, I went back to my parents' place because with all the smells, the dust, and the general mess, the room is just not inhabitable. And also, after all this work, I was spent. I started day three by applying polyurethane to my previously sanded telephone table. And let's just say that winter is probably not the best time to refinish furniture because the ideal temperature for polyurethane to dry is around 10 degrees Celsius. And on that day, Toronto was negative 11 degrees. So I don't think I got the best result. And I probably need to do another coat once it gets warmer. And then the bed frame that I ordered from Amazon arrived. The bed frame is from a brand called Zinus, and it was only like around $119 Canadian. It was very easy to assemble, very lightweight, and everything feels sturdy. It also has great under the bed storage, and I got some bed skirts to cover up the metal legs so that no one can see what the bottom looks like. 
Then I headed to a thrift store near me to see if I can score some decor items for my new room. And immediately I found this breakfast tray in almost perfect condition. I've always wanted one and I got it for just $6.99. And with some digging, I also found a pair of brand new 16 by 20 inches picture frames from IKEA. They were the exact dimensions that I wanted, and they were only $5.99 each. And when I got home, I was very happy to know that my mattress has arrived. This one is also from Amazon, and I got it on sale. And for $200, it's really quite a heavy duty mattress. This mattress is really amazing because it provides really good support for my body without being too hard or too soft. And after sleeping on it for a few days, I am so happy with it, all my back and shoulder pains have disappeared. I started the fourth day by bringing the telephone table back in and started to style it as a bedside table. And then I started thinking about the kind of artwork that I want to hang above the bed. There is this Chinese artist on Weibo who draws the most adorable cats in the traditional Chinese painting style. He creates them as backgrounds for your phones. So I thought I would just resize them and then print them in color. The quality is not going to be the greatest, but there is nothing else I would rather have. So I printed them as stables for less than a dollar each. And then when I got home, I just cut out the artwork and then glued it to the piece of paper that came with a frame for a matted look. And they came out pretty great. And then it's time to hang the frames to the wall. I didn't want to drill another hole or use command strips all over the frame. So I opted for these small command hooks. Since the frames that I have are very lightweight, I think the hooks will do just fine. And then I broke out this new bedding set that I got from HomeSense. And I think the new bedding really elevated the look of the entire room. And the last step is to figure out the lighting situation. I have this lamp from Ikea, but it's been a challenge because the wall that my bed is leaning against is made of a layer of drywall against concrete. So I wasn't able to drill no. holes that are deep enough. And in the past, I've used command strips, no. but the lamp quickly fell down in a few hours. This time around, I got these Velcro command strips that are meant for hanging artworks, and they can hold up to 16 pounds. And on top of it, I added a small nail to add extra reinforcement. And it's been a few days, and so far so good. That night, I enjoyed my new space for the first time by watching a movie in bed. The movie that I watched is called Wandering Earth. It's a pretty cool sci-fi movie set in the future where the Earth needs to travel away from the solar system. My space before is pretty bright, airy, and spacious. I think it has a nice aesthetic. And the reason I wanted to change things up is just because I think double beds are better to sleep in. I think the after is more like a vintage eclectic look. It's no longer this Scandinavian bright and airy style, but I think it has more character, especially coming from the telephone table and the artwork above the bed. And most importantly, I get much better sleep in this bed. Uh, I no longer have any upper back pain. I think style-wise, it is definitely outside of my comfort zone, and I don't think I have mastered it quite yet. But for someone that is venturing out of IKEA furniture for the first time, I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think of this makeover? I'm thinking of maybe adding a headboard to this bed, maybe a DIY headboard, and also I want to reupholster the seat of the telephone table because the fabric is looking kind of rough. Another thing that I learned is that styling a bed is actually quite difficult. Designers like to have six pillows on a bed for it to look properly styled and established. But man, that's a lot of useless pillows. Anyways, it feels good to be done with this makeover. I enjoyed the experience and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!